Our conversation will also cover the importance of the economic growth of Tanzania, which I know is one of your highest mm -hmm. priorities and a main purpose for your visit to the United States. We welcome, of course, um, the, the attention you are giving to that and that the focus of this trip includes in the United States focusing on the investment opportunities as it relates to the economy as a general matter, but also in the area of tourism. And your trip has also generated nearly $1 billion in new investments from companies in the United States. And uh, that has and will contribute, no doubt, to the economic growth of Tanzania, but in that way will contribute to the growth, the economic growth and jobs in the United States as well. Uh, the third matter that we will discuss that has been a priority for our two nations and for the world is the issue of public health, global health, and in particular COVID-19 and other health issues. We will discuss today um, what we will do together to address those needs and those issues. Uh, it is our strong belief that as COVID is an issue for any country, it is an issue for all of us. And it is with that spirit that we approach this discussion and our role as it relates to Tanzania and the work that you are doing to address the issue of COVID, um, but also the work that you have prioritized around the health of women mm -hmm. and children in Tanzania. So I look forward to our conversation on that. And, um, and I'll conclude these comments by saying that our administration is deeply committed to strengthening the ties to Tanzania and to African countries in general. This has been an area of intentional focus um, and priority for both the President and for me. And with that, again, welcome, Madam President, Thank and I look forward to our discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Vice President. And I must say that I'm pleased to be here at the White House. And I think you, Madam Vice President, I thank you, Madam F Vice President, for having me here. It makes more exciting to be here for obvious reason that we'll be able to exchange a lot of experiences in what we are doing, as you have also mentioned. And on that note, I bring goodwill message of friendship from, and solidarity from the government and the people of the United Republic of Tanzania. And as this is the first time we are meeting in person mm -hmm. since assumption of office, I would uh, like to congratulate President Joe Biden uh, and yourself, of course, uh, Madam Kamala, and the Democratic Party of the, for the resounding victory during the presidential election in 2020. We in Tanzania have been following very closely that election because the, for the first time there was a woman uh, 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 contesting for the vice president position. So we were very uh, inspired. So let me say that the United States and Tanzania have enjoyed excellent relation for the last 60 years. My government would like to see our relation grow further and strengthened to greater heights. I would like to express my government's appreciation to the US government for the invaluable development assistance and great work the USAID has been doing in Tanzania over the years, particularly for socioeconomic development and in uplifting the lives of many Tanzanians through various programs and initiatives, including PEFA, the Presidential Malaria Initiative, Feed for Future, or Feed the Future for Food Security, just to mention a few of them. Talking on COVID-19, my country is indeed grateful to the U.S. support in its donation of COVID-19 vaccines through the COVAX facility. To date, the U.S. has so far contributed close to 5 million doses of, of COVID-19 vaccines to, to my country. It was just last month I had a virtual meeting with the USAID administrator, Madam Samantha Power, and uh, during our conversation, she revealed that Tanzania was one of the 11 beneficiaries of the Global Vaccine Initiative launched by President Joe Biden. Yeah. yeah. So talking on human rights and rule of law and democracy, 
Uh, Tanzania have made commendable strides in these areas, as you have mentioned, and we are committed to taking deliberate measures to ensure inclusion, cohesion, unity, and respect for all Tanzanians. And in so doing, the political parties and stakeholders convene meetings to deliberate on collective and productive ways of running political activities in our country, while at the same time safeguarding country's interest. So these meetings have been instrumental in contributing positively to enhancing democracy and strengthening multi-party system in our country, in Tanzania. Now talking on trade and investment, I must say that I'm excited about the prospects of promoting further a trade and investment ties of mutual, for mutual benefits. And in cognizant of that, we need to creating an ease of doing business. And my government, in close collaboration with the private sector, has put in place better conditions and favorable environment for the private sector to thrive. So my only request here is to, for the U.S. government to encourage more the private sector from the U.S. to work with us in Tanzania. There's a lot to be offered. We have a lot of potential. So you're welcome. Uh, moreover, the government is collaboration with the collaboration with the private sector is in the process of enacting the Tanzania Investment Act, uh, uh, um, expected to set the tone for creating the safe lending for investors. So we are creating, we are doing all what we can to make the private sector working um, comfortably in Tanzania. Finally, Madam Vice President, I wish to inform you that while I'm here in the United States, I'll also launch the Royal Tour program. This program is created to showcase Tanzania's touristic and investment potentials. The selection of United States as the place for launching was not by accident. We are aware that, um, and we did it intentionally, knowing that this is where the lovers and shakers of entertainment and leisure reside. <laughs> And thus creating an excellent platform for the visibility of the program across the globe. Indeed, it is my hope that um, the launch of this uh, program will inspire so many people to visit our wondrous country in a not so distant future. Madam President, I once again thank you for having me here, for having me here in the State House and looking forward to a fruitful discussion. Thank you, thank you Madam, Madam Vice President. President. Thank you, Madam thank you. President. Thank you. Okay, and I'd like to share. Thank you. Thank you.